let's do about 15 minutes of Eurythmy, just touching uh, how we are going, trying to work. And so important that this trying is the key. Trying as relaxed as possible and always in contact with yourself. Never copy what I show, never copy what you see in the video. It just gives you an idea of what you could try. And this inner dialogue will open up inner spaces for interesting experiences, will allow that the experiences develop over time and will especially if you take a little bit of time afterwards to listen to the resonance, create forces which really support you on your way. And if you want to, please just stand up, put your shoes off or leave them on. You are always free, always follow your inner voice. Do not do what Theodor says, just hear what Theodor proposes and then you decide, you listen to your inner voice. That's already Eurythmy. I listen to myself. And then step two, all, Eurythmy only wants one thing, arrive at yourself and use your body for that. Take your hands and use them to have the feeling I arrive at myself. I sense the space of my chest, its light movements. I feel that the space for my heart for my lungs, for my breath. And after a while, turn your hands, make two little cups from them, or one cup, to lead the sensation. I feel myself through the body downwards, through the hips, pelvis, legs, down into the earth. And notice what this does to your body. Let your breath react and make a little step forwards or backwards, preferably on a straight line because it's a symbol of I'm on my path towards where I want to go or when you go backwards towards where I come from. And it's just, you can also do it standing to relax. Let's repeat it one more time. Take your hands, your body sensation to arrive at yourself. Notice what this does to your body. Turn your hands, lead yourself down through the body. But do not completely get lost in what you do. Also notice how does my body react. Actively, I'm going down, but just through noticing it, counter movement takes take place, which make me tall, upright, light. Let your breath react and make a step forward. Breathe. And now just do a step to the right side. Feel and just stand there and feel your right column. And just practice to relax your left side. And then feel this energy of your right column. How do I have to that I have to place my hips, my shoulders, that I have the feeling 
Yes, there's a column which carries and there's a column which can relax. And then come back to the middle. Maybe your breath wants to react. Please do so. Help your breath to respond. And then do the same to the left. Just feel your left column. Where do I want to have my hips placed that my column can really unfold? And what do I have to do that the other side of my body really relaxes? And then feel into your left column now. Is it different from your right one? Yes. And then come back to the center. What does left and right have to do with the R, ah, the theme of, of the first module? Hmm? I want to deal with, just stand a moment, feel both columns. So they feel the same? Probably not. After a while, yes. And now just create the art gesture by opening up with one hand in the right space and the other hand in the left space. And maybe also here you feel the space around my arms doesn't feel the same. And now have the impression, really stretch out your arms. Yeah, it's, I say yes to left and right. That then consists from left and right. That I consist from energy, which can even pull me apart a little bit. But to one step forward, Maybe we can do this uh, left and right heart gesture in a way that a stream towards the body comes into being. That a streaming of, yeah, I come, yeah, nourishing myself starts. And that would be the archetypal our experience. So look, go into the right side. And then say hello to the left side. And then stretch your arms out into the right side, into the left side. And then try to pull your shoulders back a little bit. And by pulling them back, try if a sort of in-streaming quality comes about in the arms. And maybe experience it in a way that this leans your body backwards. But also notice it does not make you fall. But notice it streams in. And it's not just through the arms, it streams in from everywhere. And then let go and breathe. Ah, it's not going out. Ah, is amazement. I open up my eyes that impressions can come in. And in this case, it's not impressions. It's beautiful energy, nourishing energy streaming into my body from all sides. One last time. Yes to right. From the heart, say yes to left and reach out far and then start pulling your shoulders back and try to find what do I have to do that in-streaming qualities come about which just by itself bring my weight on the heels 
connect me with the earth. And then let go and breathe. That's the R sound, a basic principle of what we try to achieve when we do an R eurythmically with our body, through our body. And now we want to bring this musical element around it because I will read it to you afterwards. Steiner describes it so nicely with the vowels, with the consonants. We go into the elements, we feel the streams, we are in the world. Yeah? And it leans me back and I'm on my heels. And this music, I also move energies, but I observe myself bringing these energies about. That's my interest. I'm observing myself when I try to achieve a musical quality. And that let's try. Now we, for the moment we just do it a major quality. Just stand upright. Feel your shoulder griddle as if it would be the roof of your body. And then just let this thought come alive. My, the roof is carrying the body. And have the feeling the roof develops the energy and the body is just, yeah, under it. It's really carried by the roof. And then make with the left step, please, left foot, a step forward, please, left forward. And then a little step to the right. Yeah. And this joy of stepping forward, stepping out. Yeah. Feel it in your body, in your feet, your hips, your collarbone. And then let this joy go into the lower arms. The upper arms say, I support you. The lower arms, oh, thank you. The hands say, we can fly. The fingers say, how beautiful. The fingertips say, I want to go further, further, further. And then have the feeling of, I arrive. There, I'm welcome. And then just come back to yourself with your arms. Slowly let them think, sink, close your feet and breathe. That's nature. I'm living in my body, but there's also a world around me which belongs to me, which I'm also me. Let's do it one more time. The roof carries the house. Left step forward, right step aside. Ah, there's joy, collarbones, yes. Lower arms, upper arms, lower arms, hands, fingers, fingertips. Light, no weights arrive. And feel your body, and when you feel your body, your feet feel grounded. I'm not pulled out, but I'm there. Come back. Close your leg. That's the basic of a musical mood. I'm on the way from myself to myself. In this case, major. And then we now go to the third, which belongs to the R. The third belongs to the lower arms. The, yeah, they are the feeling huh, element. If you want to feel if the tub warm enough, huh, then the bath, the water in the bath, then you use maybe your lower arms. But now we do it like this. We just stand 
we feel the collarbones. Then we go into the upper arms. The second, then we feel the lower arms. And then we arrive at our wrists and the torsos. And then we say, stop. We don't go further. And then come back to your lower arms and come in. Have interest for the space you were to I did not leave now. And then widen your lower arms and just use them to sense what beautiful qualities live in your inner surroundings. And just observe how you do this. Observe how you listen with your arms and how you listen with your lower arms and then return to your center. Breathe. Let go. In about five minutes we will sit down. We do this one more time and then we combine it with the art gesture. That's the idea. One more time, trying to feel this inner space of the soul with the help of the lower arms and having this interest of I'm perceiving it, I'm perceiving it, I'm perceiving it, I'm doing it. The roof carries the house. Upper arms, lower arms, feel them. Wrists, stop, do not go further out. Come back, stay in, lower arms. And the outside of the lower arms also listen where they are streaming through. Come in. And now try to have a sensation what this feels like. Maybe that's me. Maybe that's a part of me, an aspect of me. And just trying. And then return to yourself. And breathe. Yes. And now we do this gesture of the third. And after we let go, and then we unfold the art gesture in it, but try to keep the memory of the third experience alive. I feel my musical being while diving into my elementary being. A little bit like that. A major step left forward to the right. Collarbones, upper arm, lower arm, wrist, stop. We weaving in, perceiving qualities of yourself, gentle qualities, tender qualities, understanding qualities, perceptive qualities. Come back to yourself, close the feet, create the arm, hello to the right, hello to the left, far out, bring your shoulders back, create the in-streaming, feel it in the body and have the memory of the third the surrounding of yourself, 
still alive while you create this in-stream equalities. And feel your heels on the ground. Return to yourself, breathe, let go and sit down to listen to the resonance. Many things were new, maybe you could follow sometimes but you tried, and you tried to stay relaxed, and you tried to stay with yourself. And you allowed yourself just to try. What does he mean? And now, how is the body reacting to this? How do you feel? Your right arm the right upper arms, the left upper arms. Do they feel the same? How do you feel your right leg, your left legs? And what about the distribution of warmth? Where do you feel warmth qualities flowing through this or that limb and where do you experience more freshness or similar qualities and when you look for geometrical shapes for example for your lung to experience more a ball, a cube, a triangle, pointing which way? Is it broad or small? And do you feel more weight or more lightness? on your chest or something completely different. Allow yourself to relax even more and just listen to this. What comes to it doesn't have to be extraordinary perceptions. Everything is nice. The body just loves your interest. It's so, it's so grateful. It's listening, tries to perceive something from me. It's like a human being. If I feel that you try to understand me, I do everything for you. It makes me grateful. And so, only if, if you only notice little things, great. You just can't say, I don't perceive anything because then you should go and look for your legs because you feel that you still have legs. It's just you don't become conscious of it. So you can take a complete relax as long as you have the feeling you have legs. It doesn't need more. Look, that's what I have said to you. Language is going out into the world, into the awakening soul, soul quality, qualities of the world. Huh? We it's, it is meeting the senses, encountering the world. We feel, felt this dreaming of in the R. We felt left and right is different. We felt it brings us back. We felt it brought us on the heels. We felt the contact to the heels. And maybe you even felt that from down there, energy came into your spine, which made you upright. Yeah? Everything encounter of the world in a broader sense and then music that was that's what steiner says is an inner awakening 
and the taking action in this process of the inner awakening. Oh, I open my eyes. I'm not just creating a streaming in or out. I'm interested in how am, how am I doing it? Yeah, and then you are, for example, here creating a streaming, a gliding outwards, and then I glide into the streaming outwards. And, I, and thus you encounter your own spiritual, your own creative activity. And that's uh, what I think we high and high sensitives uh, yeah, should try to wake up for yeah, these inner processes which we consist from. Great. So, I have made, put it into a picture because when we do it in music, it's in a way, I have said it, I'm a being on earth yeah, during the day, but at night I'm spaced out. Huh? I'm somewhere, not here. So, and in a way, at least me, I can't always say I'm fully awake. I'm just, I try to become awake. And maybe I also can say I'm not always just fully spiritually awakened. I try to meet myself in the spiritual, in my spiritual dimension. So I'm always in a way on somewhere on the path from me to me. Yeah. And in music, uh, this is expressed in major and minor. This from me to me. And in major, it's more from my yeah, I'm here and then I go out to me and the minor is I'm coming from somewhere, uh, from me, from my me. I come, try to come into myself, to me. And today we just worked with the major aspect. We want to go through this process together, supporting each other in our diversity, because when we take into account this richness everybody of us carries in himself and allowing ourselves to accept that it's exactly this richness which makes things difficult for us, we can really start to support each other. And that's, I think, the purpose of the course and the exercises which you have designed can help us, but it's always that Everybody redesigns the exercises for him, for herself. How much, how often, how little is appropriate for me. And everything is okay. The better you adjust the exercises to yourself, the more your inner being feels understood and the more it will respond. And these experiences we want to share and these experiences can give us trust in what our eye is in its potential.